Welcome back. We figured out the passphrase to get into the National Front meeting, so let's do just that. Step aside, brother. God! You snuck up on me. Blood and land. We can still guess, which is kind of stupid. Blood, land, honor, and humanity. That's what these people claim to care about. They cling to their slogans like drowning men cling to driftwood. Mm-hmm. Almost as bad as make America great again. Honor and humanity. Faith and family, brother. Go on through, mate. The meeting's already begun. If you haven't seen Mr. Illyris speak before, you're in for a proper treat. That man is an example to us all. Somehow I doubt it. Investigate the National Front attendees. This part is a bit vague because it's not entirely clear what you're supposed to be doing here. Like, you can't actually find the traitor yet when you're here. You, What you're actually supposed to do is just investigate everybody and remember the characteristics of the people that were here. Game does not make that entirely clear. Let's see what owner Hilleris has to say first. Brothers, sisters, cousins, brave, humble human folk. Welcome to this meeting of the National Front for Faith and Family. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you for coming here tonight. Thank you. Thank you for the generosity of your time. Thank you for braving these ill-lit occult courts in your tireless search for truth. Yes. Oh, yes. Despite the selfless work of our benefactors, the enemy lurks out there. In the shadows. Look about. Okay, let's see who's here. For they are close. They are everywhere. I smell them. Do you not smell them? That foreign spice. Magic. Filth. It warms my heart to see you standing before me. Standing up for what's good and fair. Glory, cousins. Glory be upon you. In the light of the goddess. Yes, yes. I spoke recently with our benefactors. I spoke to them about that immigrant, the magical. Yes, yes, yes. I spoke to them. I said, listen to these humble, brave folk, your cousins. Humans brought to their knees by the magical. Driven to bankruptcy to moral corruption. Simple, uncomplicated men and women led astray by the devilish, demonic, magical, the necromancer. I said to them, I said, we need to make a stand. Now, now, we need to rally behind our benefactors, behind our own. And I said to them, I said... Okay, I think I've need, kind of heard enough of that. They need what we Let's investigate need these people while he's rambling on there. Up and speak the human cause. The true magical... His beard is speckled with something that looks like flour. Maybe a baker. Fortunately, the veil lets us get yes. closer to these people without yes. attracting too much you know attention. Me. His beard you know is me. speckled with no. something that I looks like no flour. Maybe a baker. His breathing is erratic and shallow. I seek the light. He should visit a I doctor. Seek justice for brave, humble you. She's humming to herself. Like you. It's a tune yes. I recognize. Yes, yes. A sweet lullaby. I stand here before you as your servant. She smells faintly of salted meat. Stand here meats. before you as your humble. Maybe she works servant. in a butcher's shop. Soon the city will elect a new council. Anyway, they're looking at us. A new leader, one who will take responsibility Goddess. for the lawlessness that, that haunts these odor. occult illiterate He can't have changed his clothes or taken a Old bath in months. do great <laughs> work. They do brave work. Important okay, let's not go near that one again. Illustrious he must work. be wearing leather undergarments. They can't undergarments. be everywhere. 
They make an they unpleasant can't protect creaking all noise. Of you from your dark neighbors. And where the Azadi falls His left short, arm keeps where twitching. Their light doesn't reach, he appears to have some sort of muscular dysfunction. Take the paper dragons that fly above he us. He smells as of we lavender speak. oil. Yes. Maybe he's a physician. Those blasphemous constructs that fly in the face of all He has an decent, odd and annoying humble, habit of constantly hard working his human tongue. folk. Symbols of the magical. Symbols of the Her the, the posture is odd. It's almost like she's tilting slightly to one side. Blasphemous betrayal okay. of all she of humanity. Not that Through I can it. tell. Our benefactors, the Azadi, they Her cannot clothes smell strongly every of tar and smoke. arrest every traitor as must child. Be a factory worker. They have more important things to do. This is the city watch's it responsibility. It appears his skin has a strange but pallor. What does the city he watch might suffer do? from moon waste. They stop good, honest, simple human folk he from meeting out well-deserved justice. It's rather pleasant, to be honest. They stop us from punishing <laughs> the perfume. magical, that immigrant, for his necromancy he reeks and illusionism. Tobacco. An Azadir well, variant, unless my nose night, deceives me. A young cousin of ours was Hammy put used to smoke in this. chains for laying righteous hands on a magical. Her hands a magical are rough who cast a with spell on our young cousin's cuts. sister. She'd fallen in with the magical, possessed His right hand dark has lust. the mark of a heavy smoker. Uh, an obscenity. His fingers and, and nails are yellow and cracked. Oh, well, that's all of them. Right. Did you What's get all of that? Just. Take notes. What's moral? You're gonna need it. Yes. This is what the watch does. Punishes brave, simple, human do this guy folk some more. for doing what's right. For trying to save a young girl's soul from that demon, the magical immigrant. No, no, no. The city watch needs leadership. Mercuria needs leadership. Someone who can stand up against the magical and say, this far and no further. Someone who's willing to make sacrifices, to hammer in a few nails to build a home. The watch is willing to hammer no nails, to build no home. I blame their leader, that woman with unnatural desires. And I blame her leaders, that boneless council, slave to the immigrant, the magical. What can be done? There is only one solution. Change. Change. Yes. Yes. Vote faith and family. Vote blood. Land. Honor. And humanity. Vote national front and vote for your humble human servant. Yours truly, owner Hilaris. With my guidance and leadership, the magical that subhuman immigrant, the dark necromancer and warlock, will be banished from our home. <laughs> our children will be safe to play once more. Our women folks' virtue will be protected. And these ill-lit occult avenues will be lit by the light of the goddess and crowned with sweet-smelling, homely herbs. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Okay, that was the end of it. And uh, not a moment too soon, because frankly, I was starting to feel queasy because of him. Alright, now that we have profiles of everybody who was here... We need to go back to the Old Town Market and identify who the traitor is. Oh, the light of the goddess is about uh, acceptance, uh, not disapproval. She smiles upon all good humans. Our, our common enemy is the filthy immigrant, the necromancer, a demon, the magical. That's what this is all about. It's about fighting the magical infestation. It's not about which gods we do or do not worship. No, 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 no. The Azadi are nothing if not open-minded. They'll never curtail your right to worship your gods of old. But of course, the, the goddess represents the truth and the light. She symbolizes the fight against the magical, that sorcerer. To embrace her light is to embrace humanity itself. Thank you again for coming. Thank you. May you walk in the light, cousins. And remember, vote Hilaris. Vote Faith and Family. Vote National Front.
Sure. So you can have any religion you want, as long as you realize that the Azadi one is the right one. Honor Hilaris. He leads this national front for faith and family. Honestly, if I could stab him right now, it would save a lot of trouble. Honor Hilaris. He leads this. But that's not our mission right now. Faith and family. Uh, we need to get back to the market. Well, that's no help whatsoever. Can't even read that. Um, before I go back to the market, actually, let's see if we can uh, pay a visit to the Journeyman's Inn. That's near here, I do believe. I mean, we're in the neighborhood anyway. It's here. Staunt Family Carpentry and Construction. Staunt! That's what we're looking for, isn't it? That might be Arn Staunt's young widow. That's a mighty uh, leap uh, you're making there. Just because she happens to sit on the stairs of a building with a staunt sign on of it could be his sister or <laughs> someone else. Maybe someone who just works here. But no, he's right. It is, in fact, Arn Staunt's widow. That might be Arn Staunt's young widow. Pardon me, mistress. I'm looking for the Staunt widow. I'm glad you stoned. Who are you? I... I knew your husband. He was a brave man. Knew him? How did you know him? We met in Friar's Keep, mistress. On the night of his death. He saved my life. In return, I granted him death. You granted... You killed my husband. He was dying. They would have tortured him had they found him alive. He asked me to visit you. To tell you that he... He loves you. Oh, don't talk to me of love. He helped you survive. You held my husband's life in your hands. And you killed him? You are despicable. Leave. Before I call the city watch on you. Mm, so much for gratitude. And if you don't kill her husband, then not only do you get to listen to him get tortured, she will then be angry at you for letting him get tortured. There's literally no way to win here, which I kind of like. Uh, what's over here? This gate goes somewhere. It was closed in um, Dreamfall as well. While my veil is active, they cannot recognize me. Not unless I want them to, or I act carelessly. I don't know if you can actually act carelessly enough to get caught outside of certain places. I don't think so. If I'm quiet, their eyes glide off me, and I remain invisible to them. An Earhardian veil can be very effective. Hello? Hello? Nope, he is not noticing me. These men are getting tired of their posting here. We've been in Mercuria for a decade. Many of the foot soldiers don't see the point in staying and wish to return to their families. Can't see where that's going. Can understand why they would want to go home. Especially since the climate here is a lot colder than what they're probably used to. While my veil is active, they cannot recognize me. There aren't a lot of people out at night, even though the streets appear to be safe. People still keep their heads down around Azadi military. They must fear the worst. And who can blame them? It's a good thing the streets are as empty as they are. Makes my assignment easier. That's one way to look at the bright side. The Journeyman Inn was closed down when we arrested the innkeeper, Ben Rime Salmin. Oh yeah, that happened. So I guess we can't go there. This place was used by the Resistance. They now gather at the Rooster and Kitten, down by the South Gate instead. Let's hope that doesn't meet the same fate as the Journeyman, then. The Journeyman Inn was closed down when we arrested the innkeeper, Ben Rime Salmin. We can't go inside, I don't think. The answer is no. Too bad. Would have liked to go in there. Alright, let's head back to the market, which is pretty much just uh, back down the way we came. It's pretty easy. 
we'll have plenty of opportunity to explore the rest of Markeria later. And besides, I want to go back to the market before I forget everything we just learned at the National Front meeting. At least we got that optional thing out of the way, which helps, I guess. There isn't nearly as much stuff to look at or that's interesting background stuff as there is in Pro Past. There's like some shops. There's a barber over there. A bunch of soldiers. Oh, he's working on something. What's this? Mercurian Mechanical Company. Oh, I guess they are working on the pipes. If I'm quiet, no. their eyes glide off me. Before my arrest, I heard whispers of a citywide communications grid, allowing messages um, to be passed quickly to and from the tower. That's all stuff we've already heard. That's the other thing. You can't really look at anything here without just getting runners. repeated messages. Mm. Those are very unilluminating signs. That looks like a normal cow. And normal horses. I guess they have those here as well as in uh, Stark. Definitely don't have any elk one in Stark though. Alright, back down here. Did you hear the one about the magical and the pregnant pig? No? It's hilarious. I think it starts with the magical in a pig sty. Or. Oh, was it the other way around? Don't forget it. Always be vigilant, citizen. The other way around? Would that be a, Go on, a pick in a magical sty? I don't even know how that would work. If you walk too close Avoid to the guards, the shadows, they kind of react to you. Magicals. Sometimes? Okay. I guess these don't. Hey, look who it is. Where have you been? I have been doing my job. Can't have talk to Enu. Where have you been? At a national front meeting, identifying your turncoat. Uh, it takes a traitor to find a traitor. Think you can point him out for us? I can. Go on then, before we lose him. All right. So now we get to Shadow's name. You came out of nowhere. We get to uh, look around the market and people who are here and see if we recognize any of them. There are only a few people actually. He smells faintly of camphor or the pine forests of the north. I've got the non-magical medicine. Maybe lavender oil. Lavender oil. We did see that, didn't we? How about this one? His breathing is heavy and wet. No, that was not one of them. Can't look at her. I think there's really only three we can look at. His skin appears red and blistered. Perhaps he spent too much time in the sun. No, I don't remember that either. He smells of tobacco. I'm not familiar with the scent. It's probably a Northland's weed. Hmm. We did uh, see someone who smells tobacco, but not a Northland's one. Crispy bitter leaf wrapped in a crunchy yeast bag. We already do him. His skin appears red and blistered. Perhaps he spent too much time in the sun. I don't think we've done this guy yet. He smells of tobacco. Yes, we have. I'm not familiar with the scent. Um, it's probably a Northland's weed. Well, there's one that definitely did show up here uh, that we did see, which is this one, the lavender oil. He smells faintly of camphor or the pine forests of the north. Maybe lavender oil. Sandwiches. And uh, I just like to point sandwiches. out that because I did not really know what I was supposed to be doing, the 
I didn't really remember most of them, so by the time I got here, so I didn't really know what I was doing. Fortunately, my wife has great memory, <laughs> and she did remember the lavender oil, so she was able to pick the right person here. So I did get the right one. Ah, he's it, pal. I've got eats from across the Northlands. Who are you people? Where are you taking me? Have you got the wrong man? Right man identified. All thanks to my wife, who is awesome like that. Okay, uh, we have other things to do. No sign of Bip anymore. Okay, we need to find the Azadi Messenger and take care of that weapon shipment. Let's do the Messenger next. Uh, let's take a look at that map we got from the mall. So we have that route that goes um, like that, obviously. You can see that. I don't really know why I'm pointing that out. Um, we are currently here. The place where you need to go to actually, um, actually uh, find him is over here by the checkpoint. So, let's do so. And that is the wrong way. Go turn around there. Uh, we need to go to the city green to get to the checkpoint. Which I think is easy is if we go back up this way. God is I'm tired of standing here night after night with nothing happening. Avoid the shadows, there may be magicals. Well maybe you should have more than three things you're saying to people make things more interesting. Man, there are guards everywhere. This city green, apparently. According to the map, there's like a petrified tree over there. I'll take a look at that. I don't think there's really anything else you can look at here, though. Pretty. Wait a second. I know this place. We've been here before, haven't we? Indeed, we have. This is Abnaxus's abode. He left Mercurio, didn't he? I guess his house is still here. Which is nice. Can't go in it, or look at it. Or do anything here. I wonder if that um, plastic flower... Uh, organic plastic, whatever it was, that April planet here. Um, is still here? Wait, I didn't actually do that in the Let's Play, did I? Whoa, graphical glitches. I think I forgot to do that. It's the one that. It doesn't accomplish anything. It's not something you need to do in the long journey. It unlocks the Book of Secrets in the, uh, the main menu, I think. And I'd already done it <laughs> before, so I already had that. It's the one thing I forgot to point out you could do in the... It's the, or the li little leaf of organic plastic that April gets from the plant in the... In the border house, you can plant it here in the city green. But I guess, canonically in my le timeline of my Let's Plays, that never happened, so... Anyway... City Green is pretty. Nothing we can do here right now. Okay, uh, the checkpoint is actually the guards over there. Let's see if we can find this runner. Oh, there he go comes, and my goals are updated. Lurdy Azadi messenger to an isolated location. Well, I guess we need to follow him. A runner passing messages between checkpoints. That's the boy I'm supposed to intercept. 
he's not very fast, so it's pretty easy to keep up with him. What makes it difficult to keep up with him, however, is the fact that he tends to disappear for me at a certain point. Uh, we'll see if that happens this time. Do you have any messages for me, Dar? There's this letter. It's important. Keep it safe and make it quick. I'll see that it's delivered, Dar. What do you want? I don't want anything. Wait, he's going this way? Okay. Before when I did this, he was turning around. So maybe this time it won't glitch out. That would be very helpful indeed. I think he's running the route that's on the map. We can't just attack him, though. Oh. Let's see. Which way is it again? It's so hard to see anything in this light. Right, left. Left's right. Uh, um, uh, left. If you're close to him, he will notice Can you. Can I help you with anything? You do not have an option to, like, rob him or knock him out or anything. Nope, we have to do as the thing said, we have to um, lure him somewhere. And uh, we just saw a hint to how to do that. We have to lure him to an isolated location. And this seems like a good candidate that's along his route. This little nook to the right here, because there's literally nothing there. Just some... Oxus? Oxen? If that's what they are, I'm not sure. Uh, and birds. Chickens, I guess. Yes, I do know the plural of ox is oxen. Many much moosen and stuff. You know? Google that if you don't know what I mean. Um, anyway. We need to lure him over there. And he seems to be confused where to go here, and is looking at the street signs. Which here actually have English writing on them, which he did not in the other ones, so... That's kind of helpful for him, I guess. The sign reads, Earthrin's Ascent. It says, Watcher's Court. Maybe if we mess with the signs, he will go the wrong way next time. Let's get that one. And then that one. I'm very surprised that this whole thing was glitching out hopelessly while I did this for my practice run, and now during the Let's Play it's working perfectly. The, cor the curse of the Let's Play means it has to be the opposite. Alright, that's our street sign that used to be left, and now it will be right. If you did that right, he will spawn pretty close by. There he comes. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? I guess he ran really quickly for the rest of his circle. Are you following me? Nope. Stop following me! I'm not following you. Uh, let's see. Wait, wasn't it left? Not right. Right don't sound right. But hey, signs never lie. Right ears. Signs never lie? Um, that's not something I would want to bet my life on. <laughs> okay, let's get that letter from him. Let's hope we can do that without hurting him. This down low right. I... Guess not. Goddess. Okay. Well, so much for him not being hurt. Where are those archers? Up on the roof somewhere, I suppose. The mole said he wasn't going to be hurt. I have a feeling the mole was lying.
dead. Murdered. What for? That poor boy. Dead. Murdered. What for? Indeed. I have a feeling Kian is going to have some stern words for them all, that's for sure. Well, we got the letter, I guess, at least. So what a terrible waste. That's the mole will need to answer for this boy's death. Indeed she will. She tricked us. Can we be sneaky and look at the letter? It's sealed. It's not addressed. The dead runner's message, sealed with an Azadi mark, probably destined for the tower. I would have to break the seal. No, the mole would know I'd opened it, and she might not be very happy about that. Our agreement may be forfeit. Okay, well that would not be a good thing because, well, despite of what she just did, which kind of makes me want to do things she wouldn't like, but we still need those supplies for the rebels, and that is important enough that I think we need to stay on our good side, so not much we can do about that right now. Um, so I guess we need to head back to the mall's place, but we'll do that in the next video.